So in this exercise, we want to compute all intermediate fields of this extension of Q. So precisely, we want to find all fields say k between q rational numbers and q of alpha where alpha is the fourth root of two now we can apply of course the usual argument for basic field theory and find that uh, the extension of q by alpha as degree 4 in fact we can write uh, q of alpha as uh, the quotient of ring of polynomials in q by the polynomial f which is the minimal polynomial for alpha which is x power 4 minus 2, which of course is irreducible over q. And so we can write, as usual, our basis of q of alpha as a vector space, and this would be spanned by this basis, given by the powers of alpha until power 3. So at least we certainly have a tower a tower of fields which would be given by q of um, alpha cube sit sitting inside q of alpha squared q of alpha so at least we know there would be these intermediate fields let's see if maybe some of them are trivial in the sense that they are either equal to q or to q of alpha so as we as we said this um, this degree here is four and of course also the degree of q of alpha square so alpha square is the square root of two so this is degree two and in particular we have uh, some restrictions so clearly q of alpha cube over q has to has to have degree either 2 or 1 and it clearly cannot be 1 since uh, it's different from q so we make the following observations first q of uh, alpha cube is nothing interesting because it has to be equal to q of alpha squared so q of square root of 2 from what I just said next also again from the tower law or the, the fact that the degree has to divide 4 we see that whenever so if we have um, say if k is a non-trivial extension or intermediate field meaning it's not q or q of alpha then it has to have degree 2 since it has to divide 4 and it cannot be 4 or 1 so it's a quadratic extension and then, well, if we want to use something even more powerful, we can apply the primitive element theorem. And conclude that, well, there are only finitely many extensions here between k and q, and therefore k is a, a simple extension. So we can always write k as some q of beta, for some beta. So it's a simple algebraic extension. Well, next, so we know k is a simple extension of the form q of beta of degree 2. So we have 
as usual our diagram here of the ground fields say of uh, the extension q by um, the square root of 2 so here the inclusion here an isomorphism which we can take as the identity and here we have our k for q and beta so another extension of degree 2 so these two above are isomorphic of course as vector spaces and in particular we can extend and close this diagram by an isomorphism that sends uh, square root of 2 into beta so we can conclude this of course uh, we are using this fact here that the extension is degree 2 so we conclude that uh, q of beta and q of a square root of 2 are isomorphic as uh, field extensions of q and so our conclusion is that q of uh, square root of 2 up to isomorphism is the only intermediate field between k and k of alpha uh, q and q of alpha